Uh, Meryl, there's so many different ways you could read Violet about, about is, is she damaged, is she spiteful, uh, is she confused, is she insecure? I'm curious, do you, do you kind of decide pretty early on what her, what, her pers what her motivations are? Do you have conversations with John and Tracy? Because it's a character that can be played so many different ways in so many different directions. Do we, well, John and I um, emailed a little bit in preparation for this, and I would say my, my biggest, one of the things that really interested me was where she was at any given point in the cycle of pain and pain relief. Uh, where she was on her painkiller cycle, you know, in any given scene. And since we were shooting out of order, I sort of had to map, map that in a way, um, just so I'd know what level of attention or inattention I could bring to my fellow actors. <laughs> and um, that was, um, because You know, I think you, as an actor, you're supposed to want to go into the house of pain over and over and over and over again. But really, it's it's not something that you um, that's fun. And I I resisted doing this initially the the part because of that. I just thought, Ugh. <laughs> and um, because on so many levels, physically mentally, spiritually, emotionally, Violet is enraged and or in pain or um, drugged, you know, at any given time. And so that was the, that was the main thing that I was... Uh, I didn't doubt that I would go um, and figure out how much Anyway, no, I, 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 I don't want to talk about this. I hate it, hate it, hate it. Okay. Okay, <laughs> okay next question. Okay. It was my idea to live in the condo 